Hello YouTube, this is Eddie with an update, a long, long time I haven't done one and I've done many uh, escapes in it, you guys know me, I'm always changing my stuff and I kind of like this one, I am not that satisfied, <laughs> if you guys notice little different coloration huh? On the light, we have a little problem here. Um, I added again the T5 fixture. <laughs> and right now it's only on with the blues and LEDs are at the blues, red and green. I'm gonna turn the whites on or it's not quite white, it's purplish. <sighs> now there you can see it. I get more spread coverage. These guys are eating all the algae. Frog spun loves it. Hollywood stunner is huge in the back. The polyps, that orange, Montipora, what is it, Digitata? No, Satosa are out. The mouths or polyps are open. Wow, never seen them, seen them that open. That, um, Scroll coral. These uh, polyps. Uh, I think they are pig zippers. <laughs> They're fully open. Polyps are too. They liking it. They are liking it. <laughs> My galaxy here. It's happy that the polyps in this, I don't even know what kind of coil is this. <laughs> They're out. Very nice. That Millie, of course, it's happy. Right here you can see it's growing. It's a uh, red planet. You can see the polyps. The polyps on these are huge now. I'm guessing they like it. The ones that doesn't seem to like it that much are the clove polyps, my pink tip clove polyps. Course. These are fully stretched trying to get a lot of light. And these mushrooms are like, whoa, fully open. And I'm guessing these guys like it because they were all shriveled up. And as soon as I put this T5, they started like, boop, boop, pulsing. So hopefully they come back to life because they've been dying. And what has been dying, it's this Montipore, um, GSP. Somehow or something, it's just <laughs> not right. Ever since uh, I moved it to this side, because it was there, you can see the wall, the patch over there. It was a big patch all the way like this area of GSP, and now it's there no more. I'm guessing it's the algae. If you can see all the way, all the back is full of algae. And all those bald patches because of this snails are eating it. <sighs> I don't know, I stared all the sand. 
I stirred it big time and I, I did a vacuum, very deep vacuum, some time ago. Because I was getting a lot of cyano. And I still have a little bit again. Everybody seems, besides that, everybody seems happy. The only coral that is not actually living too much, it's the GSP. But everything else is just going fine. <laughs> There's two kinds of bird's nest here. The aura. And I don't know, but all this very thin one <laughs> growing around it. It was dying, and that's how the, one of the guys from the reform gave it to me. And it was almost white. He said, you want to take this? See if you want to make it, if you can make it live. So, oh, he did. Oh, he did. Look, it looks green now. But it doesn't have any polyps. It's just that the bones are, the skeleton is green. Inside, some type of polyp is there, but it's not like in the center. You can see it, the fuzz of the aura. Bird's nest. Bird's nest. Sorry for my English. It's terrible. But they've been growing together, and I'm guessing somehow it, the green base of the aura bird's nest went into this regular bird's nest. <laughs> but it looks cool. I mean, I don't mind. I call it coral fusion. The only thing I don't like is that because of the dirtiness of the tank, you can see some algae also in the rocks. I don't like that. I don't. I hate it very much. The rock that I like really much is this one. Ooh. It started with like a couple of them and now it's like 13 of them. And you can see a baby right here. And this baby has another baby. Like on top. It's pretty cool. And this Montipora, the le when I got it, it was all, uh, this was what it was. Right here. And now it's got another level here. It's going to the rock here. And it's grown pretty good. Well, if you guys remember, this tank was dying. And now, that has gone through that. Oh, yeah, look at this Favia. It's just been like, growing really fast. I like it. my lunch up there <laughs> this is where I usually eat all right YouTube if you have any ideas besides that water change <laughs> so I can get rid of all that algae can let me know actually I ran my my skimmer for these last four days and damn it did took a lot of a lot of dirty stuff from it 
Hopefully that works. I mean, I did see, I did notice an improvement, but I just, there is a liquid, you know, denitrifying or something like that you guys can recommend. Please tell me so I can get rid of all this algae. All right, peeps, see you guys around. This is where it starts and this is where it ends. Have a good day.